Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Aquila 5 Micro Long Range Slash Cinematic Frame by STP Hobby, a company which is also known as Rush FPV. In this quick video I'm going to assemble the frame and go over its features and specs and soon I'm going to feature it in a build and flight video. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box you can find some stickers. The front, back and supporting carbon fiber arms. A high quality 20cm long STP branded battery velcro strap. The bottom, middle and top plates. A zip tie. All the needed spacers, screws and nuts for assembling the frame. An anti-skid sticker for the battery. The FPV camera aluminum side plates. 3D printed TPU mounts for the GPS unit, the FPV antenna and an Immortal T antenna, a screw and nut for the action camera mount, and high quality 3D printed nylon parts that will enable you to secure an action camera on the top plate, protect the motors and the bottom plate, and mount the Rush FPV Solar Tank VTX on the back of the frame. As for assembling the frame, First, secure the front and back carbon fiber arms between the middle and bottom plates using 8 M2 screws. Then connect the two FPV camera aluminum side plates using a spacer and two short M2 screws. Attach them to the bottom plate. Using four short M2 screws, attach the aluminum standoffs to the bottom plate and finally assemble the top plate. Now as you can see, the Aquila 5 inch frame is assembled. In terms of features and specs, its wheelbase is 215 mm. In order to maximize its efficiency and for the propellers not to appear in your FPV feed, it features a dead cat pattern. The distance between the front right and left motors is 190 mm. The distance between the back ones is 150 mm and the distance between the back motors and the front ones is 130 mm. In addition, the thickness of the carbon fiber arms is 5.4 mm and the width is 5.8 mm. The carbon fiber arms provide some protection for the motors and they support both 9 and 12 mm motors mounting pattern. The thickness of the middle plate is 2.5 mm. The thickness of the bottom and top carbon fiber plates is 1.5 mm. The distance between the middle and top plates is 18.2 mm. The frame supports micro-sized FPV cameras and the two aluminum side plates are going to provide plenty of protection to the camera lens. On the bottom plate you can find both 20 by 20 mm and 25.5 by 25.5 mm whoop style mounting holes for mounting an all-in-one flight controller and on the back side you can find 20 by 20 mm mounting holes for mounting a VTX. As for its weight, without the supporting arms and 3D printed parts, the weight of the Aquila 5 inch frame is 61.1 grams. Including the two supporting arms, the total weight of this frame is 69.8 grams. As for the 3D printed parts, the weight of the four motor protectors is just under 4 grams. The weight of the Rush Solotank VTX mount is 1.1 grams. The VTX antenna mount weighs 0.8 gram. The GPS mount weighs 1.2 grams. The Immortal T antenna mount weighs 1.5 grams. And the weight of the action camera mount is 2.1 grams. So you can do the math and calculate the different combinations. In addition to the Aquila 5, STP Hobby also released the Aquila 4, which has a shorter wheelbase of 176 mm. It doesn't come with the supporting carbon fiber braces. The weight of its front and back carbon fiber arms is 18 grams, so it is 6.6 .6 grams lighter than the Aquila 5 when not using the supporting carbon fiber arms. Along with the Aquila 5 frame, I also got 3D printed mounts for the Insta360 GO 1 and GO 2 and naked GoPro cameras. I'm not sure if these mounts are going to be available for purchase and if not, I really hope that STP Hobby are going to release the STL files so you'll be able to 3D print these mounts by yourself. 
As for the 3D printed nylon parts, I'm going to suggest to STP Hobby to stick with nylon only when printing the motor protectors because they seem to be sturdy and durable, but I would recommend them to change the action camera and especially the VTX mount to TPU because it is more flexible, so it's going to provide some dumping for the action camera and will enable you to flex the VTX mount which is extremely fragile when printed in nylon. So as you can see, I've already broke mine and fixed it using super glue. So in case you've got yours printed in nylon, be careful not to flex it too much because it's going to break. So overall, the Aquila 5 looks like a nicely designed frame. It is pretty light and features high quality carbon fiber parts. And it also looks pretty durable. So I'm looking forward to see how it's going to perform in the upcoming build and flight video. As always, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.